Not black. Ah, sorry, you. I don't have data. But you can send me data. If you can send it to me, I'll watch your video. Oh, hey guys. I know, I know, I know it's been a while. It's been a very long time. And I know that you guys have missed me. Well, I want to assume that you guys have missed me because I've missed you guys. Like, YouTube is actually not easy at all, you guys. Like, I just want to talk to you guys today. I just want to have, like, a normal talk. So, this is not like a regular video that I would normally make. So, I'm just going to be spilling all the honest tea and the honest truth about being a YouTuber, especially being a Nigerian YouTuber. Now, I'm going to start with the first misconception that we make tons and tons of money. I mean, I want to make that money, yeah, but I'm not making it yet. So, I don't know the whole, ah, uh -uh, what are your YouTube money now? You're doing YouTube, I'm sure you're already making money. That's why people say, I'm like, do I look like I'm making that money? Okay, maybe I look like I'm making money, but please, you guys, I'm not making money yet. Don't go and look at me and think that this guy is making money. Please, if you want to help me, help me because... There's no money, oh. That's really, really exhausting. So the the point to actually where you start making money is an ego thing, because most of you don't know that you need 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours, and all these things are actually not really easy. But when you're seeing from the outside, you think it's just about oh, looking good, um, setting your camera, getting lights, getting everything, and then sitting down to talk, and then you start getting all the recognition. When you feel like ah you're going to blow, you're going to this, you're going to that, and then when you go on YouTube studio, you see you keep seeing the red arrow, red arrow, red arrow, and it's like, what am I doing wrong? Yeah, sometimes I see green arrow. Remember when I just post a video, and the video is doing well, you see that green arrow, and most YouTubers will know what I'm talking about. Non YouTubers, you may not really know what I'm talking about. When you check your YouTube studio, you always see like your analytics. Where you see oh watch hours for the month, this one for the month, and it's always going down like. I want to open my YouTube studio and actually see that my analytics are going up. Number number two, I'm going to talk about content ideas. Content ideas, trying to be original, trying to find your perfect niche. I know I already made a video that you should make sure you write at least 50 content ideas down before you start YouTube. But still, eh, did you just go through your book of ideas and you're like, Nah, I'm not doing this one now. Oh no, I have to get this one so I can't do this video now. Or this, this, that, there's, there's always something that's making you not to do one video or the other. Please, I don't even need that person to read it. If you actually read it, please drop a comment in the comment section. You come into YouTube feeling like, okay, I do not want to do exactly what this next person is doing or exactly what every other person is doing. And then you always want to add that touch or that spice, but sometimes you just end up doing the exact same thing that millions of other people are doing and it's like so how would you stand out in the crowd it's actually not easy. now for the next one filming and editing let me clear my throat for this one <laughs> so guys you know how hard it is to actually find especially as an nigerian youtuber where most of us yeah you actually at some point or i don't know at some point you actually be living with people like let me not say as a nigerian youtuber at some point you're actually living with people you're not going to be living alone so finding the perfect time to film where everywhere is quiet is warm so i was supposed to film yesterday being a sunday and then i set up all my equipment to film and then guess what i still hearing noise left right center children that did not go to school and i was like oh okay let me leave my filming till tomorrow monday that these children are going to go to school and then i started today and then i realized that oh most schools are on lockdown so there's no school there's no quiet time it's just i just have to like manage the time the small quiet that they will give me and try to film with it and then let's talk about editing storage space issue like i had to delete uh, i'm not even joking you guys i had to delete every single picture on my phone why because i'm using a 64 gig phone and i can't I, and i film in 4k so like for every one minute of video is over 400 mb so imagine me having like 17 minutes of video do you know how many how many gig that is and then i have to edit it and when you're editing you can't delete the main video when after editing you still have to save that other video so like it's taking so much space and <laughs> there's really nothing you can do about it 
honestly there's really really nothing you can do about it and then saying okay i want to move on to my to start using my laptop to edit it's not easy for me because transferring my videos transferring my pictures from my phone to my laptop is one stress so, so that's actually people can hear that i mean did you people hear that they just gave me like how many minutes of quiet now they have resumed and to think that i'm staying in a very quiet area but still some children will still make it their life in to disturb you and to make noise <laughs> God. and then after editing filming then we go to uploading your content we all know how data issue is in nigeria first of all getting data you spend how much to get data and still the data will not even last okay you've gotten your data now mm? you've gotten enough data to actually upload your video then your network will not fuck you up i'm using glow i know people say why are you using glow but like glow network is even better in my house like any other network i used to from twitter now but once it's glow it goes very well i've already gotten data here yeah? now to upload your video is another thing let there be network enough network for your video to go you guys I have been up I've uploaded a video that I uploaded up to it is eighty six percent and this motherfucking thing just told me error in uploading. I had to and you know when I uploaded to eighty six percent the data for that is that actually gone. I have to start all over again from one percent, use another set of data and that was for this twenty five minutes video that I just uploaded last the last video I did. Do you guys know how large a twenty five minutes video is? A twenty five minutes four K video is you guys can i i legit cried that day i'm never going to try to <laughs> i legit cried when it when i saw that i was like okay you people should just finish me you need to finish me and then okay after you finish uploading your video you've gone through all the hassle you've gone through all the you've scaled through all the bridges you've done this you've fought all the enemies then you now send your video link to people to watch they will not be like Video. I don't have data, but you can send me data. You can send it to me and watch your video. Okay. <laughs> you know, I feel like when people just hear you do YouTube, they feel like you have money. Cause you know the amount of data I used to upload this video. First of all, I have to upload it to standard definition and high definition. First, that data I use. Then, and I now send it to you. I should not send you data to help me watch my video. Uh -uh, you people should fear God now. Please fear God. At least, if you want to help somebody, help somebody. If you don't want to help somebody, don't help me. Nigerian YouTubers are actually trying. I really suffered because I'm like, so every time I send you my link, I will send you data to watch my video. Get out of here. When I blow, will you come meet me? Please send me that. Let me watch your video. Mm? When I blow, you just wait on it. All this suffering, not for nothing. I'm going to blow soon. I'm going to be like the Dima and Kelechi and all the rest of them. I'm going to blow soon. What out? All of you that have been monetized, I'm tapping into each and every one of you's blessings that very soon need to have been monetized. I know that data is actually not easy to come by, you guys. I know, I know. And I, the people that are legit to watch my video every time I post it, you guys are the real MVP. Like, I don't even take your support and your love for granted at all. Like, I see some people that you don't even expect much from. And it's like when you post video, they watch it like almost immediately, and they even like watch it full. And you're like, I'm not giving you anything. I'm not even. I don't have to specially beg them for anything, but they just do it. I don't know. Some people are just God sent in my life. I swear, like some people are just really God sent, and I'm so grateful. At least even if I know that most people watch my video, I can count like ten people. And I know that yes, come rain, come, come shine. These ten people that actually watch my video once I send them the link, and you guys are the real MVP. The next one I talk about is staying motivated. Sometimes I just feel like, what is the point? I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like, what is the point? Like going through the stress of making videos, uploading, and this is that same few people that want to watch it will still watch it like when will youtube algorithm actually favor me or when will i blow on this youtube because it's like they have millions of youtubers out there so the chances of you actually blowing is high but not so high because there are millions of people that have blown and there are also millions of people that have not blown so it's like sometimes i just have that doubt in my mind like what's the point of this thing that you're actually doing would you actually anything would actually come out of it would you um 
if you ought to be keep making videos and making videos and making videos and spending so much money in getting this that and still you still don't make it on youtube so what's like <laughs> what's not going to be the end result what's going to be the end game do you guys get so it's like staying consistent staying motivated sometimes i just make a video and when i post it and i don't get the at the is it love or like the views and the attention i was expecting from that particular video you know sometimes when you make some videos you feel like this video is the one this particular video is that video and then you post and it's like you have to mentally prep yourself every time nobody's going to give you that ted talk you have to give yourself the ted talk like tell yourself this is why i'm doing it too. this is what made me start this thing this is what i want to gain from if you just come and it's like it's just money 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 you might never want to continue again so but if that that passion is there like for me it is but it doesn't mean that having passion for something doesn't mean that you can't get tired sometimes i feel like you can still get tired you can still get tired it's normal it's just human nature it's how you now okay dust yourself up and put, pick yourself back up and you're like no we have to continue whether the devil likes it or not am i going on spiritual but you guys understand so giving up we don't do that here <laughs> the last but not the least blowing up blowing on youtube i think i already said that like i already incorporated that into most of the other points i gave blowing up on youtube takes it doesn't really take time for some people some people that is just really fast for like in two months three months you're monetized before you know it you're making money but some people will actually stay i know somebody that she has been on youtube for like three years but recently like six months now eh, I, I think i commented on her youtube channel i told her that i kept on seeing her recommendations i kept on seeing her recommendation on my home page i'm like uh -uh, what is happening i don't know this girl from anywhere i've not searched for you anywhere so not like at first yeah she doesn't even know like she's say getting views they getting comments and all that and she doesn't even know how it happened and she, but it was when they're posting consistently so actually posting consistently helps but having that motivation to keep posting consistently is not easy because i had to tell her i said guy youtube actually recommends your videos a lot because I, you, they recommended her video to me more than four times. I think I saw it two or three times. I didn't click on it. I was like, who is this one? Why are they recommending her? <laughs> and then I clicked on it one time again. like, oh, okay, she's she's okay. I didn't subscribe then. Then another time they recommended it to me. Then I clicked on her video. I watched it. I was like, okay, I think I like her. But I still did not subscribe. <laughs> and then when they just sent me um, her notification i'm like no youtube wants me to subscribe to this girl because the way they keep sending her her the way they keep recommending her videos but don't even send me a notification of videos she just posted that day somebody i'm not even subscribed to i said no it's a sign let me do i just told her that i'm subscribing right to you like i've actually been seeing your videos but i've actually not been subscribing to you but like right now i'm subscribing to you because already too much but i don't subscribe to her they will keep sending me i said <laughs> and, and our channel is actually really fun it's actually really nice so i feel like it just gets to a point that youtube will just start recommending your videos and then you just blow up just blow up so before you get to that point don't expect any blow up like that because you just only your subscribers will be seeing your videos and not all your subscribers will even watch it you see you have like 1k subscribers you'll be having like 100 views 200 views eh what the, the remaining 800 of you and 900 of you what are you people doing so guys if you know any small youtuber myself included Please, please send us money, send us food, spoil us because, because we're going through it. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you for coming to my TED talk because I'm going to call it a TED talk and I hope you learned a thing or two. So, this is my own honest truth about being a YouTuber and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys in my next video. Bye.